Hey everyone, this is Tony Stooges Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up some password protection for your website that's running on an Apache web server. We're gonna do this with basic HTTP authentication, and don't let the fact that it's called basic authentication or basic auth uh, scare you. This is um, a, a good way, a sophisticated way to password protect either your entire website or just a subdirectory or set of subdirectories. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do that. And just for demonstration purposes, I created this this small website um, that is running on an Apache web server, and it has this admins only section, okay? And, the, and you, you click on this link right now, and anybody can get to the admins only section, which is just located at um, the subdirectory admin. Uh, but what we wanna do is add some password protection on top of this, so only people with the username and a password can get to this area of our website. So let's go ahead and log into our server that is running uh, this website, which is at the same IP address here. And when we're on here, the, the first step we wanna do is to create the credentials for being able to log in. And we can do that with um, something that looks like this. I'm gonna use my cheat sheet over here. And it's going to be HT password with a pass WD dash C for create. And then the destination of where that is going to, uh, it's basically like a password file. So we're gonna stick it inside of ETC Apache 2. And then it's a hidden file called HT password. And then the username of um, the credentials that you're creating. So what this is going to do is prompt us for a password. So we're gonna create a password right here, right now. So I'm gonna type my password in, in here. It's gonna be um, Tony teaches tech, and it's gonna want you to confirm that. Tony teaches tech. Okay, so we got that, good to go. Um, and now that we have those credentials kind of set up, let's let's actually first take a look at that. If we look at the etc apache 2.ht password file, um, it's basically the username separated by a colon and then um, some type of a jumbo mumbo jumbo. This is like a, uh, a hashed version of your password probably. Um, so nobody can come in here and read your password plain text. So that's how it kind of works behind the scenes. But anyway, we have to implement this in the Apache web server. So um, let's open up our configuration file, our Apache configuration file for our website. And we can do that with, uh, I'm gonna use Vim text editor. So in etc, Apache two, and then sites available. And I'm just using the the default configuration file here. Very simple configuration file. Um, what we wanna do in here somewhere is add a snippet of code, which I will have uh, down in the description below for you so you don't have to copy or type it in, um, type it from the screen, you can just copy and paste it. Um, so anyway, uh, the directory that we are protecting is the full directory, the absolute path to the directory is at var www.html admin and we're giving it an auth type of basic, the name, uh, this could be anything, we're gonna call it admin area. The auth user file is that file that we just created, the password file, and then we're requiring a valid user to be able to access that. So inside that directory block, that's going to take care of um, essentially password protecting the admin subdirectory for our website. And, and just so you know, the root of our website is at var www.html. Um, so we'll go ahead and save those changes and then we'll do a system CTL restart Apache 2 to apply those changes. And now if we come back here to our web browser and just refresh the page, everything looks the same as far as this, this public facing page. Uh, but if we try to go to the subdirectory of admin, we can click on this and it's gonna prompt us for a username and password. So now we can type in our, our username, Tony, and our password, Tony teaches tech and sign in. And now, uh, because I have authenticated correctly, I am allowed to see this page. But anybody else who doesn't have those credentials cannot see that page. And and just so you know, this, the, uh, this will last for the entire duration of your session. So if I close out of this page, or even if I go into another window, like a guest window, and try to go to this, this page, um, it won't let me go in, right? Because it's a, a I'm a new user from the perspective of the, the web server. Um, and just so you know, if I try to type in like admin and um, some some password that doesn't work, I won't be able to access this page. And I think it might kick you out after a certain amount of attempts. I'm not sure. Nope, it'll just keep allowing you to uh, 
to attempt to sign in. So um, that is in essence what the uh, the basic authentication on an Apache web server looks like. Um, you can you can expand upon this. This is just a basic example. Uh, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Check out some other videos, including how to do this on Nginx as well. And uh, subscribe for more videos from me like this in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.